Okay, everyone, so today we're going to learn how to uh, slaughter a quail and clean a quail. Um, and the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a good grip on them. Um, you need a, you need a um, good pair of uh, take-apart, like uh, game shears, okay? And that's really all you need to do this. So make sure you have a, a good hold on them um, and that their feet are also not pushing on you, so the feet between the fingers there. Uh, the first thing we do is uh, we have to dispatch the quail. And the quickest way to do that is to take their heads right off with the scissors. Uh, make sure you get underneath the feathers. So you can do a quick cut there, okay? And then they just kind of bleed out. And they'll shake a little bit and flap around. Um, and then what we need to do after that is we're gonna take their wings off. I'll give them a minute. Okay, I'm gonna take the wings off. We get right next to the wing, and normally you'd probably keep the wings on if you were plucking them, but um, I don't have a plucker, so I skin them. So we gotta take one wing off and come to the other side, right next to the body. Take the other wing off, and then we get the feet right by the joint here, and they pop right off. Right at the joint, they pop right off. Okay, and then. <coughs> We put the scissors down for a minute, and we get our fingers inside here, because like I said, we're going to skin them. You can just get your fingers right inside where the head was, and you just start to pull back a little bit, and it comes right off. I like to get my thumbs in there, and then get down to the legs. Okay, so you can push the leg out on that side, push it out on this side, just like that, and then stick your finger, try to get the feathers off. Stick the finger in between here, just like that, and pull the skin all the way off. Okay, same thing on this side. Just like that. <clears throat> okay, then we come around the back, and we just peel the skin back more here. Just like that. Try not to rip it, because then you get feathers all over your hands and everything. And we just peel it back. Now, I don't worry too much about the tail feathers back here. I do plunk them off a little bit just so I can see what I'm working with. Um, but as you can see, it starts to get pretty messy when you start messing with them. So, then we come back up. So here's our tail feathers, okay? We skin the quail, uh, trying to keep as much feathers off of the meat as possible. Um, and next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to come in here, and we're going to take this backbone right here. I'm going to cut along both sides of it with our scissors again. We get the scissors in here. Some people come from the other end, but I try to not mess with that because, you know, obviously you don't want any quail poop getting on your meat. And so we just stick the scissors in there and cut right along the vertebrae. And this will be easy cutting right around when you get to the to the to where the leg is. And then you're going to uh, start to get into the actual where the leg bone connects to the back. And that's going to be like a big cut right there. You want to make sure you keep that this, the uh, scissors up because you don't want to get into any of the intestines. And we do the same thing. You want to watch out for the... Um, what do they call this? The gullet on this side. Let's stay up above that. Get in here. There we go. And then <clears throat> we start to peel back the backbone. Keep the bees away. So we just peel back that backbone. Okay. And then we get in behind everything. Stick your finger in behind everything. And then slowly pull all the, the guts out. Okay, now, if you want to save it, there's your liver right there. Okay, there's your livers. Um, and the heart. The heart stayed in, and actually here's the heart right here. So we'll save that since we have it. Okay. And then... Next thing I do is, again, I give it that same grab I had when it was alive, right before we dispatched them. I put the legs in between my fingers there, and I allow the rest of the guts to kind of hang down. I grab my scissors, and I come in here, and you have to be careful. I cut right around wrong where the leg is, but away from the guts. So you're right in here. Give it a little cut there, okay? Give it a little cut right here. And you see it just kind of dangles there. Now on this side, you see this is where they're... Um, anuses and you want to cut just above that and around 
and then just let it drop. Just like that. Now finally, one of the last things we do is we come in here and we these are the lungs and the rib cage. And a lot of people, you can scrape the lungs right out and leave the rib cage in. Uh, but a lot of people, when they process them, they take their uh, rib cage right out. Just like that. And then pull right out and pull the lungs out. And then the lungs on this side, same thing. You can get your thumb in there. We just pull them right out. Now you have to be careful because this leg, because we skinned them, they're only held on by that little bit of, of connective tissue there. So we don't want to rip that off as we pull these rib cages off. This one's giving me a lot of trouble. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And that's pretty much it. We got everything out. This one we got a little bit of a little bit of feathers on there. That's okay. We're gonna come over here to the hose. A nice rinse and that's about it we'll clean them up a little more inside but that's your processed skinned quail ready for the grill hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching